adjusting wheel end bearings with Dr. Preload. This video shows Dr. Preload in use at normal operating speed. Complete bearing adjustment takes about one minute. Install all wheel end components according to manufacturer's instructions. Thread the correct temper lock nut onto the spindle. Firmly tighten to snug the wheel in position against the axle. Loosen a half turn. With the downward sweeping motion, mount Dr. Preload onto the spindle while guiding the load arms around the temper lock nut. Apply a high load with Dr. Preload as indicated on the gauge. Rotate the wheel at least three full turns in either direction to seat and align the rollers. Set the wheel end bearings to the recommended light preload setting as indicated on the gauge. Finger tighten the temper lock nut to hold the bearing setting in place. Remove Dr. Preload from the spindle. Insert the yellow retaining ring into the temper lock nut. Inspect the entire assembly for proper installation. The wheel end is now set to the precise recommended light preload setting. Dr. Preload Components Dr. Preload is designed for precise bearing adjustment and simple operation. The Dr. Preload nameplate identifies the axle size of the tool. The yellow Dr. Preload handle is used to hold and maneuver Dr. Preload. The preload pressure gauge shows the preload force during seating and setting of the bearings. The black spindle adapter knob is used to thread the spindle adapter onto the axle end. The yellow T handle is used to adjust the preload force on the bearings. The load arms apply the preload force to the bearings. The key finder helps align the tool in the spindle keyway. The spindle adapter attaches Dr. Preload to the axle end threads. Here again are the important components of Dr. Preload. These terms will be used in the other videos in the series. Temper Lock Nut Components The temper lock nut is specially designed to work with Dr. Preload and has a number of key features. The front face has visible marker dimples at specific intervals to enable precise adjustment. The back face is relieved to allow the Dr. Preload load arms to reach around the nut and contact the bearings. The yellow retainer ring is easily removed and installed in the temper lock nut using the two finger tabs at each end of the ring. The Easy View notched center tab and two Easy View notched end tabs lock into the groove on the temper lock nut.
Here again are the important components of the temper lock nut. These terms will be used in the other videos in the series. Mounting Dr. Preload onto the spindle. Attaching Dr. Preload to the axle end is easy to accomplish with a little practice. The spindle adapter is what holds Dr. Preload on the spindle. Use a downward sweeping motion to guide the load arms around the temper lock nut while engaging the key locator in the keyway of the spindle. Line up the spindle adapter over the end of the axle at the same time. Turn the spindle adapter knob clockwise to thread the adapter onto the axle end. Once the thread is engaged, only two turns of the spindle adapter is necessary to mount Dr. Preload. A rubber stop ring is mounted inside the adapter to prevent over-tightening of the tool against the axle end. Note the position of the tips of the load arms around the back face of the temper lock nut. Inspect to make sure the load arms and key locator are in the proper position. Dr. Preload is now mounted firmly to the spindle. Seating the Bearing Rollers Once Dr. Preload is mounted on the spindle, the next step is to seat the bearing rollers. Rotate the yellow T handle in a clockwise direction. Dr. Preload will take up all clearances between the wheel end components. When you start to feel resistance, continue to tighten with two hands until the gauge needle points to the green roll-in zone. Stop tightening the handle and rotate the wheel three full turns in either direction. Note that the needle may drop slightly during the wheel rotation. This is normal as the rollers become aligned. If the needle drops below the green roll-in zone during rotation, retighten the T-handle again until the needle re-enters the green roll-in zone and rotate the wheel three full turns in either direction. The bearing rollers are now properly aligned and fully seated. Setting the bearings To set the bearings to recommended light preload, loosen the yellow T-handle in a counterclockwise direction until the gauge needle points to either the set drive, trailer axle, or set steer axle. Finger tighten the temper lock nut by turning it clockwise until it is finger tight against the outer bearing. Line up the indicator mark on the key locator or on one of the load arms with the closest dot on the face of the temper lock nut by slightly tightening the nut. The temper lock nut is now holding the bearings at the recommended light preload set point. Removing Dr. Preload Once the bearings are set to light preload, the next step is to remove Dr. Preload from the spindle. Rotate the yellow T handle in a counterclockwise direction to loosen the handle about six turns. Hold Dr. Preload firmly with one hand. With your free hand, rotate the spindle adapter knob counterclockwise until the adapter disengages from the spindle. Remove Dr. Preload and set aside. Locking the temper lock nut. Reinsert the yellow retaining ring into the temper lock nut to lock in the light preload setting on the bearings. Hold the yellow retaining ring by the two finger tabs. First, insert the center easy view tab in the groove of the nut by holding the yellow retaining ring at an angle to the nut while engaging the key lock and the axle keyway at the same time. Squeeze each of the finger tabs, one at a time, to engage the two notched end tabs into the groove of the nut. Fully inspect the temper lock installation. Now, let's review the same information with a close-up of the temper lock nut and retaining ring. 
reinsert the yellow retaining ring into the temper lock nut to lock in the light preload setting on the bearings. Hold the yellow retaining ring by the two finger tabs. First, insert the center easy view tab in the groove of the nut by holding the yellow retaining ring at an angle to the nut while engaging the key lock in the axle keyway at the same time. Squeeze each of the finger tabs, one at a time, to engage the two notched end tabs into the groove of the nut. Check to be sure that the yellow retaining ring is fully seated in the temper lock nut. The retaining ring easy view notches of all three tabs should be hidden in the groove of the nut. Tips on using drive axle doctor preload. Doctor Preload for use on the R-Type drive axle has several special features designed to make bearing adjustment easier with a lack of clearance in the recessed hub. The load arms in the key locator are extra long to reach inside the hub while keeping the body of the tool away from the hub. The load arms have special finger tabs to make it easier to control the load arms during mounting and removal of Doctor Preload. Spread the load arms slightly using the two finger tabs. Bring the load arms into the hub over the flats of the nut, not at the corners of the flats. Make sure the key locator is in the keyway and the load arms are positioned around the temper lock nut. Follow standard doctor preload procedures to seat the rollers and set the bearings to preload. To tighten the temper lock nut against the bearing, it is best to use your two index fingers to reach into the hub and finger tighten the nut. When removing Dr. Preload, turn the spindle adapter knob counterclockwise. When loose, rotate the load arm assembly so that the load arm tips are over the flats of the nut, not at the corners of the flats. Pull Dr. Preload straight out from the hub until the load arms clear the hub. Insert the retaining ring and inspect the assembly.